All right, so to do this, let's go ahead and make a button. So in my HTML over here, I'm just gonna start typing button in here and I'm gonna hit tab or enter to make a button. And if I say uh, call function, I could call this anything. Okay, uh, really this isn't naming the button, but what it does is, let me update that so we're going to the right file, is it'll make a button, okay? And whatever I actually put in between the opening button tag and the closing button tag is what will show up on the button. Okay, now I can click it all day, it doesn't do anything because I'm not telling it to do anything yet. So let's go back to our text editor. And what we wanted to do is call this function, right? So I'm gonna cut that, take it out. And then in here, we're going to add an attribute, just like ID or source or name, we're gonna add, we're gonna add an attribute to the button that is on click. And then we're gonna put that in there, okay? So we say on click, we put the name of the function, uh, that we can delete, and let's save it. Let's see if we get any errors. We don't have any errors in the, in the developer tools over here. I'm gonna hit refresh, we're good. And I'm gonna call the function. And you can see that highlight, that lit up purple a little bit, and our text changed to Happy Wednesday. Okay, if I go to my sources, um, it says that as soon as this function gets called, we're gonna change the inner HTML of our output ID, which is this paragraph, to Happy Wednesday. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh this just so we can see that again. It says this is a paragraph uh, because that's what we put into uh, in between the opening and closing tags of our paragraph. Um, and then I'm gonna put a breakpoint right here just so we can watch this work. I'm gonna hit call function, boom. It calls print, print message just like we wanted it to. And I can actually highlight this whole thing and see that it finds our paragraph with the ID of output. Okay, well if I look at inner HTML of that, you can see it says this is a paragraph. And we're basically gonna take that piece of data and give it a new value which is going to be Happy Wednesday. And so I'm gonna let that continue and you can see it changed the inner HTML to Happy Wednesday.